In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Pixlr Photo Editor to combine elements of two or more photos. And I'm going to do this by demonstrating how to use the lasso tool and the eraser tool to combine the elements of your photos. So once you've gotten into Pixlr.com, which is free, uh, that you can access it anywhere, you can get to the internet, uh, you go to Open Image Editor, Create New Image, I'm going to call this the balloon because I'm going to be putting a balloon in a picture. Say OK. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to find your first picture and my first picture comes to us uh, from Kay Connors off of morgfile.com. Uh, this has been provided uh, as a free public domain stock for uh, photograph. So I want to open that. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a balloon here. So my next step is to go to File, and Open Image, to find my balloon here, which comes to us from Ken Kaiser, who is also off of morgfile.com, and this is a public domain uh, photograph. I'm going to click on his photo and open it. Now your f the first thing you can do, the first method of combining uh, two pictures is to simply use the lasso tool which is right here. It looks like a, a rope with a loop. And this is going to take a little practice, a little skill for you to get good at. You have to have kind of a steady hand. But you go around the outside of the part of the photo that you want. You're left clicking and holding down on left click and try to go around it as evenly as possible. like so. Then you want to come up here and go to Edit and Cut. Now I'm going to close this file. Which brings us back to our original image. Then I'm going to say Edit and Paste and I'm going to bring in our balloon. Now the next step is to come over here to Edit, left click Free Transform, and you come over here to the corner and you can see those arrows and this is going to allow you to shrink down this image. And then I'm going to come over here to this tool, click Yes, and I'm going to move my balloon, position it in the sky, and then I'm going to work with it until it looks right. I think that should do there. And now to really clean up the image and make it look nice, I want to take away these blue edges on the balloon. Now what you do is you come over here to your navigator and this bar here allows you to increase the size of the photo, allows you to zoom in or zoom out. And this red box here is showing you the area that you're seeing in the picture. So I'm going to grab that red box, I'm going to come over here to my balloon, and now that's going to allow you to view the blue that's left over from the other photograph. So what we're going to do uh, to make this look better, to make this look real, is we're going to take the eraser tool and this, whatever, what's going to happen is whatever I left click in this circle that you see, it's going to erase this upper layer. So what I want to do is come up here to the brush and I'll bring it down to about five. And I'm going to erase this darker blue. And what it's going to do is reveal the layer that's below. That's basically what you've done when you when we pasted the balloon, we just put it down on top of the picture of the skyline. So you just go around the outside edges of the balloon or whatever other image that you've decided to paste into another picture and you even it up.
this does take a good bit of time and the more time you put into it the more careful you are to even up these edges make them look good the better your final product is going to be so I'm just steadily left clicking Now once you've gone a ways and you think it's looking good, you come back over here to the navigator and you zoom back out and it's going to give you a feel. This is where you're really going to see whether or not uh, you've done enough and that looks pretty good. Um, another thing to try to make uh, the balloon look like a more natural part of the original photograph as you can click on the, make sure you have that layer selected and you come up here to adjustment and you can adjust the brightness and contrast of that balloon and make it look like it's an original part of the photograph say for instance the balloon was in a darker photograph it wouldn't look uh, like it belonged or if it was too bright it wouldn't look right so you just adjust the brightness and contrast until it looks like it's a more natural part of the picture. Hit OK. Now that may not be exactly right, but this is how that's uh, a method of adjusting the color for the balloon. Now to demonstrate the second method. I'm going to create a new image, say OK, and I'm going to import the first image as a layer, as I did in the previous example. And then instead of opening the balloon picture, I'm going to open the balloon picture as a layer also. So basically, this balloon is laying over my picture of the skyline. So all I do is just simply select the eraser tool and I'm going to go up to about a 50 lead and all I'm going to do is just erase the excess blue on the layer where of the balloon erase everything but the part of the picture I want to be in the picture with the skyline and just completely bypass using the lasso tool Now as with the pre previous method, you're going to position the balloon where you want it. You go to edit, free transform, shrink the picture down until it's the size that you want it, position it, and then come back over here to the navigator and zoom in. clean up those uneven edges and I recommend going to a 5 size 5 brush and cleaning these edges up just like you did before and again um, the more time you spend uh, the more exact you are the more careful you are uh, the better your final product is going to look well, those are the two basic uh, methods of combining a photo, and that's uh, one of the functions of the lasso tool. Uh, until next time, uh, have fun with Pixlr.